Good. Good. Whoa. Whoa. There we go. That's that fixed. Good evening, you wonderful people. Sorry about the feedback. <laughs> Welcome. It's Sunday night here on the channel, which means it is gaming night here uh, with me, Padre. Padre on a Sunday night. My name changes to Padre. That's my gaming name at Digital Jesus. So I've got the herbal tea, uh, the force is strong with this little one, it says on the cup, Baby Yoda of course. Oh that's hot, hot hot hot. So um, I've just just received a message, just seen it, you know we usually gaming nights co-op night, Sunday night, but James is, uh, looks like he'll be running a little bit late. He, he perhaps he'll join us, but just as well I had something in the bag prepared, here's something I prepared earlier, as they say, uh, so we'll we'll do a little bit of gaming, I think James, I don't think we'll do the usual, we've been doing Lego Star Wars, by the time he gets in, it'll probably be too late to load that up, but we'll, we'll spend, even if it's just half an hour, we'll have a wee chat, have a wee chat, see how folk are, uh, check in, and uh yeah, we'll, we'll hopefully do a wee bit of gaming, see if I can get it working from this end. So let's bounce into the chat and see who's with us, with us this evening. Um, good evening, Margaret O'Connor. Good, good evening, Five Rank and James. There's no James, Margaret. No, it's, this isn't a new mug. I've actually had this for a long time. I think this was a, a, a gift from uh, Tracy Bradley, our resident DJ, faithful, uh, long-time community member here. I think that was Tracy was it, uh, that got me this mug, here mug. But it's a good one for the herbal teas. I don't use it too often, but it's a big round, nice round mug. Helps cool uh, the, the drink. Um, Sheila Kelleher, good evening to you, very welcome, hope you've had a pleasant Sunday Sheila, hope you're well at this time. Brida, good evening to you, very welcome, hope you've had a pleasant Sunday Sheila, eh uh, Brida, sorry. Thank you for popping in to say hello. So I suppose since we get a wee bit of time to burn, we're not going to go straight into the games room this evening. Uh, we'll have a wee chat. It's a, a good, lovely day here at Holy Cross, uh, Belfast, Ardoin. We had uh, a final profession to the Passionists today. I was just thinking as I was coming on, I never took any photos. I uh, should have got a wee photo with her student, uh, Connor Quinn. Quinzer, as I call him. Uh, you might know Connor from the channel, he has made guest appearances from time to time over the the years. Um, so he was finally professed today here at Holy Cross, took his final vows. Uh, his perpetual vows, isn't that a lovely word? Committing his life to the Lord through the Passionist congregation. So we're very blessed, it's been a few years since we've had one. They don't come around too often. Uh, so a uh, big congratulations to our Connor. It was a lovely day here. If I get some photos, I'll try and share them on the channel. Um, yeah, good day. Good day all round. So that was a wee bit of news. 
um, from today. It's high temperature still in London today, Breda saying. Yeah, it's still it's still warm here. They were threatening rain and thunder clouds here all uh, day. It was grey, but the the rain and the thunder clouds haven't arrived. I wish they would because I'm sitting. Don't know. I hope you. If, I don't know if you can hear that fan in the background, but I'm absolutely melting in this room here. This evening, for whatever. I don't know if it's the placement of the room or what, but all week. Uh, I think it, well it does, this room gets, the big window gets blasted uh, with the sun so it's hotter in here than it is outside and uh, I'm like an ant under a, 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 what do you call those wee things, you know the wee thing that they burn ants with, that's what I feel like in here. <laughs> that must be the herbal tea kicking in. Uh, it's Sunday night here at Digital Jesus with me Padre. Maybe that's just the sun going to my head. I say James doesn't look he's going to be joining us. Usually we'd be playing Lego Star Wars on Sunday night. We're coming to the end, thankfully. I'm ready for finishing it. Um, but let's, we'll be, um... Will we, will we bounce into this, the, the games room? See what's happening there. Bernadette, good evening to you, Bernadette Toll. Congrats, Connor. Brilliant. Hi, Frank. He is wild. Is that Connor? Our Connor's not wild. He's a good boy. He's a very well behaved and quiet. Our Connor. Connor McLeod from the Clan McLeod. Do you know what film that's from? Anybody? Answers on a postcard in the chat. Marie, good evening to you. It's good to have you back. First day below 90 in Philly. Are you scorching in Philadelphia as well? Hope you're well. Drinking lots of water. Marie, nope, that's not the Terminator, I'm afraid. Not Braveheart either, Margaret O'Connor. Braveheart, ooh, could, could, could I say kind of close? In some sense. Bad fires, yeah, I was, somebody was telling me there, there's a the drought in England at the moment. Fried onion hot. Marie Saint in Philly. No, nope, not Lord of the Rings. Tracy, good evening to you. Very welcome. We were just talking about you, Tracy. I was just trying. To, I was just saying people were asking about the mug. I was saying I think I'm pretty sure that was you and Megan and the gang that gave me this mug. Uh, little baby Yoda. I'm ha I'm taking my herbal tea from it tonight. I'm drinking tonight. We're sponsored by Puka, Puka Puka. Nighty Highlander <laughs> It was Highlander Tracy Congratulations Connor McLeod from the Clan McLeod It was from Highlander I'm not sure what one it was There was a few of those Highlander uh, Films You remember Sean Connery played a Spaniard in it With a terrible uh, Spanish accent. Martin Larkin, good evening to you. You're very welcome. Hope you're well this evening, Martin. First one was the best. It's been a long time since I've watched any of those Highlander films. I couldn't even remember them. Breda, I usually fall asleep at this time of night regardless of the puka tea. I'm back on the herbals again. I go through phases. Um, 
I just like a good old English breakfast to me. But um trying to cut down on the caffeine a wee bit and at night. Well like you say, Breda, these ones are supposed to be kinda I don't know what's in them, is it chamomile in the netbook at night tea? Lavender. Supposed to help you unwind, relax. So Slauncha. Not going to be too much happening in the way of games though this evening, I don't think. Let's see if we can load up the games room. See if I can get us into the games room this evening. I'm not sure, Tracy. I see I'm out of touch. The thickening, wasn't it? I'm not sure. Just know they used to chop people's heads off with swords. That's the only way you could defeat a Highlander. By chopping their head off with a sword. Is that right? Is that not how it was done? Margaret O'Connor likes a strong cup of tea. I'll, I, I can take it. I prefer it strong. But it's not so much if it's strong or weak. Margaret is more. Um, is it a good tea bag? Um, isn't it? I'm a bit of a tea bag snob. Who, what, what's your favourite tea bags? Let me know in the chat what tea bags you all use and you like. I, I um, at the moment, I like a good a Thompson's. You all know Thompson's uh, tea bags. Belfast. Oh, it looks like James is here. Two minutes, he's saying. Will we give him two minutes, you Is it too late to go into the games room with James? I don't think so. I'll not bother loading up the games room then. We'll give James a, a couple of minutes here to join us. And then we'll go, maybe we will get some Lego Star Wars this evening then. Good stuff. So we'll just keep the chat going till James turns up. And we'll resume normal programming. So you're very welcome. Don't be shy if you're new here this evening. This is Padre Plays at Digital Jesus. I'm Father Frank. If you don't know, now you know. Sunday nights day of rest, sabbath, all that good stuff, so we just kick back, put our feet up, do a little bit of gaming. That's it really, that's Padre Plays, it's a simple concept, a priest playing video games. I was talking to a wee fella last night, the lad was into the gaming, I says, what games do you play? He says, I don't really like, he says, he didn't say he didn't like, he says, I don't really play games, he says, but I love watching people play games, he said. <laughs> The youngins, my nephew's like that. He doesn't. He, he loves gaming, but he, he spends more time watching other people playing games. So I said to this lad, I said, "What games do you like watching?" And and he said, "You know what he said? Fall Guys." There you go. Do you remember the old Fall Guys? We used to play it here in the channel. That's right. Um. Let's see what's coming in. Tea bag count. Nambari says Tracy Bradley. Margaret O'Connor's likes Tetley Nambari or a Yorkshire tea. Um, I like the, the Yorkshire can be nice, Margaret. Yeah. Bernadette drinks Nambari, but had a. Man is turning now. Yorkshire tea, so she's. Converted from Nambari to Yorkshire. I'm an asshole. Type Sheila person. likes a good cuppa with Barry's tea and cork. Yeah, I'm quite fond of the Barry's tea as well. It's nice, not to be confused with Nambari. I think Nambari is his 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 older brother of Barry. I don't know if they're related, Nambari and Barry. Patricia Conley, good evening to you. Thank you. Yes, congratulations to we Connor. Are Grace, lovely. We are Grace, lovely. Tracy so Bradley lovely. likes a wee Earl Grey now and then. You yeah, get lost in the supermarkets when you go for a cup of tea. Uh, yeah, it is. These days, don't you? There's a whole aisle dedicated to teas, tea bags alone. It's I don't wild. think he's funny. That funny here, but yeah. true story. One of the first times uh, I went Holy to hell. to London. I flew the nest, left Glasgow, went to, to London 
um, went into a cafe, uh, and and the girl, <laughs> the girl said to me, uh, I says, a cup of tea, please, and she says, what what kind of tea? And I says to her, Tetley will be fine, thanks. <laughs> and she looked at me with a kind of glacial look, as we say in Glasgow, and then she looked up at the board, and um, I it was all it. these fancy kind of fancy teas so that was my first education leaving Glasgow I didn't know there was anything beyond Tetley Tetley tea that was my world so there you go funny but true story good evening James I've only been here for five minutes I know you've been here but you you rudely interrupted it's, it's, it's nice of you to join us James yeah sorry I was in a weird house People, people have been saying hello, James, and you've not even been here. <laughs> oh, hello. Uh, so, no, I was, I was, I was, I was at a work. I, I intended to stay for like half an hour, and then like, just I wind up. Somebody handed you a cup of tea, and then like, oh, you're trapped for like half an hour extra. That Listen, sort of I know how it is, but I've been at two weeks today myself. Why do you think we are so chunky, all the teas and sandwiches that I we know. eat? Priests. No, I was... That explains a lot. <laughs> Shock. I'm only going to say this, but I honestly hope one of them shark me if you're on it. It's offering round a fruit loaf and no butter in the fruit loaf. It's not <laughs> on. scandalised? It's not on. First thing I said. <laughs> but, well, you uh, did well getting fruit loaf anyway. It must oh have my. been a, a I love you. fancy week. Um... I didn't think you were going to be here, bud, so I was just going to, I was actually just going to road, load up quickly. I, I didn't see your message until I sat down just before nine and I panicked I know, and I was going I, to throw I, I on cats that. in a building or something. Yeah, no, I know, I But saw I suppose it's... N- it's like, oh, crap. Didn't text him anymore. Well, listen, you do the, the work, what you need to do behind the scenes there. James oh, gets I'm connected. Ready. I sent you an invite there. Did you accept it? His invite it? went already. Oh, sorry, oh, I pressed I, the wrong button. Oh, over it. So let me just get connected to your folk. Yeah. No, I I actually do love a fruit loaf. Like, I think they're proper, like, S tier. I know they're a wee bit of an acquired taste for some people, but, like, a toasted fruit loaf with butter over it is hard to beat. We wee cup of tea, you know. You know. All right, you really simmer good. down, James. You calm yourself down. It's only fruit <laughs> loaf. It's so good, though. It's so good. Uh, Man of simple tastes. Exactly. Um, I yeah. don't know if you can see the chat. Let me just catch up. I can. There's a few folks saying hello, James. Yeah, I said hello Frida's to Frida. sending her regards. Tracy's, Tracy's talking about the service today being beautiful. Watched yeah, online. Yeah, it was nice. Tracy um, teared up a bit. It was beautiful. Good for you, Tracy. Don't be holding back now. <laughs> Some Kerry Gold on order for James. Yeah. Margaret O'Connor loves fruit loaf too, as does our Tracy. Ah, you seem to be in good company then, James. Exactly. Not alone. Yeah. With the butter running up your arm. I was able to sneak in early one of the wee orders of service for the funeral tomorrow, you know, my connections with the ones who, who do it. Do you right. know what I mean? Caught Chris when she was there. It's nice and fun. What one for funeral one or funeral two? We have two, as you know. Uh, funeral one. I'll oh. be at both. So well. Good man. I'll be with you in the afternoon. What is fruit loaf? It's. Oh, Roshin, I'll let you to hand that over to you, James. It's. Believe it or not, a loaf of fruit in it. Uh, um, <laughs> it's exactly what it sounds like, <laughs> Roshin. <laughs> it's like, it's like raisins and like sort of berries and stuff, like dried fruit put through a loaf and a wee bit of cinnamon fruit so it's like kind of more of a it's like a nice mix of sweet and savory it's really nice butter over the top toasted and it like gets really sweet and then the butter the saltiness of the butter cuts it like fruit cake uh it would be more no because fruit cake's a wee bit more heavy it would be like kind of a brioche bread though near enough Roshin, Roshin, of course, is from the, the Fruit, America, Fruit United Fruit. States. Roshin, you need to remember we are here and we haven't evolved in yeah, a few yeah. hundred years, so it's still pretty much uh, it's like red. A re- 
bread yeah. butter. <laughs> bread. With a wee bit of fruit sprinkled oh. on top. We're, we're simple folk here, Roshin. Uh, not you, not like you civilised Americans. You we know, haven't evolved. That was a big way of distinguishing Celtic Irish and English Irish from each other. English Irish typically ate bread and used grain for their food source where Gaelic Irish would use oats. And it was like, that is like the way they used to, it was like a cultural distinguishing factor between them in like the 1400s, 1500s. <laughs> Listen, get, get us into the games <laughs> room, James, before we get a start getting history lessons from James here. Right, I'm going to load it up. There it is. It's in. So just let us know if you can hear all going on, the, the music and the dialogue, sure. all that good stuff. We'll keep the chat going. Keep the chat coming in. It's good to see you all. You're very welcome. This is Padre Plays Sunday nights here at Digital Jesus with Padre and James, of course. Yeah. Um, how was your day? Did you go down the the mail? No, I never went back to Cross did you Guard, not? James. No. I thought you did go down to the mail. Did anybody so go? Before, not from uh, Holy Cross, no. So James, uh, could bring us up to speed. Where are we on Lego Star Wars? In case people at home are are not sure what's going on here, we're on episode eight, the Last Jedi. I have not watched this film. I do not know the plot of it. So, uh, yeah, we're into the two Star Wars films that I haven't watched. So cool. Yeah. Any Star Wars fans out there? Anyone seen the Last Jedi? So spoiler alert! Not? Although Lego Star Wars takes um, liberties, so yeah, it mightn't it mightn't spoil too much. Cinnamon. Now you're talking, Tracy Bradley, the Americans famous for the cinnamon. Cine Cinnabond. Is that what you call it? Have you ever had Cinnabond? Beautiful. I cannot see chat now. Ah, uh, I'll keep you up to speed, James. Don't worry. I think I'll just open Facebook on my phone. Is your microphone up? Is, cause, uh, is it just mine? My, my headphones are low. I could probably turn it up a wee bit. I don't know. How's it all sounding at home? How's the ratio between my volume, my vocals, and James's and the music? Is it alright or is it too low? So, somebody can let us know. You sound low to me, James, but it could just be because my headphones are yeah. aren't up very loud. My Not volume. adjusted for the bass. Because you're um, quite, you sound quite all right in comparison to the music. To be fair, sounds fine. Folk are saying. Sounds fine, Crom. Yeah, I can now see chat on Facebook. I can't see YouTube chat, but I can see Facebook chat. Cool. I don't think Andy's joining us from YouTube yet. Not yet. I'm sure they haven't declared themselves. Except you, James. Yeah. You're a YouTuber. Yeah. Oh, happy beats. Uh, so press F2 on your keyboard. Yeah. EVA, what did I just say about happy beats? Just for the record, Commander Denver, I put the droid on it. Thank you. Now, don't be losing your patience tonight, James. You were getting a bit impatient I last week. I only lose my patience. What do you mean? The whole point um, of video games with you is I need to lose my MP, my patience. Roshin says she can hear us, but she can't hear the the, the music. Yeah, the music's or, over now anyway. So, can you hear the can you hear the dialogue in the game, Roshin? Are you all hearing the dialogue? Very good How is your mother's now? <laughs> Sounds fine, it's saying that's good. We do have um, subtitles as you can see for the hearing impaired. Yeah. As they say. What are we doing? Just shooting these red things? Good stuff. Oh, I, like, I like a bit of shooting me. There was a fair bit of um, flying last week, I enjoyed that. The shooting there was part. actually, yeah. <gasps> Here comes the parade. This High looks fighters. different this week. It looks better almost. No? Is it just me? I think it's. It looks, it it looks sharper, you. crisper. Yeah. Like more detail in the the game or what? No? Is that just me that's imagining I, it? 
I don't think I've done anything, like, graphic settings-wise, so... Maybe they put more time and effort into this. I can one. see that happening, you know. Whoa. These were the uh, controversial ones, you know. Almost everyone's joined the fleet. We're just waiting on the last few ships. Keep going, bro. You've got a good wee ship. I don't like this one. I'm flying. Seems a bit weird to steer in it. It not seem to steer so well. Nope. Does it not? It doesn't seem to steer as well as the last one I was in. Oh, is that the last target? I'm going to take it out. Oh, I missed it's it. Not. Damn it. We're still like a few more. Uh, I'm getting totally rings run around me here for some reason this time. Because you're bad at the game? Potentially. Mayhaps. I'm not even shooting anything there. Looking at my screen or what were you doing? No, I don't know. I just... Oh. There you go, it took one out there, that was a good shot. There we go, that's it. Good job. The evacuation is complete. You did it, Poe. Now get your squad back here so we can get out of this place. Three degrees, better visuals tonight. Disengage now. That's an order. Uh, bad connection, gotta go. Uh, do you know these big, long ships? They're like bomber ships, and they're like... I think, statistically, the worst ships in Star Wars. I can remember watching many a lore video complaining about them. They're like, slow and impractical, it's just... Oh, look at this view, did that change something? No, you get no, the same view as well? Yeah, yeah, I think the game changed it. I wasn't really paying attention to the controls, but so I'm just going to shoot. Ah, uh, it's just stare around, shoot what comes up. They're moving too fast, these things. Yeah, it is really. You're lucky if you just keep shooting, you might land one. Oh, I got it. Boom, took a big hit there. That's us. Yeah. We have to protect that last bomber. It's our only hope. <laughs> Defend the bombers. Oh, no. We need to protect that last bomber. It's this our is some to bring down that straight up Independence Day stuff. I don't know where I'm supposed to be. I think I'm going the wrong way. I am. Yeah, I think you are. You get torpedoes and then you go and target the wee side doofers. So you do. Whoa. Don't worry, I did it. Good man. I don't have any torpedoes. <gasps> They're gonna sacrifice themselves to drop the bombs. Told you, just like Independence Day. Thing off. 
your twisted child in a mask. Prepare my ship. Oh. Do you know what I've almost finished reading? The charge, the quick on the life of Charles Sigmund that I may or may not have taken from your one Paul Francis room. What one, sorry, the Charles, St. Charles? Yeah. Buddy. It's so good to see you. The Herald of Hope, the thick one. Come on. The heel, the bro broken hearted, the wee tiny one. Ah, uh, the thinner one. Yeah. I need to revisit them on those books. I took a delivery of them today. One thing at a Did time, you? buddy. Of all three books, three books on St. Charles. Yeah, I have the one in the letters. Something. And then I have the one on the wee tiny one. I need a change of clothes, so I'll beat this guy up and then no, take no, his no. clothes. No, no, no. Come on, let's get you some clothes. Walk into this leave. room. Right there, did that let me put that on? No. That's it. What? There's nothing in here. Who took it all? Tell me that. People have a habit of borrowing and not returning. If you look around the ship, I'm sure you'll find some spares. Hmm. I could just beat this wee guy up and take his suit. No, it's not very. I think I How do I? No, it's not letting me. Are we in here? No. It's in this next room. I think. Yeah, in here. In here. That should do it. Alright, now. Let's head back to the closet so we can change the key. Have to get back in the closet, Frank. That's what the game's telling you to do. Cast tonight. I'm coming out the closet. Well, I'm dressed. So where now? All right. We've got to go back to the bridge for a debriefing. We'll get you all caught up while we're there. Um. Such. It feels very stop starty that, doesn't it? What's that? Oh. oh, some straight Star Trek stuff there going on there. See that? Follow my lead. Um. So, yeah. Don't. The subscribers of the channel have access to getting some of those books from my understanding is that something that you're looking to do or going back yeah. not that i'm aware of is it not right i thought you were going to do that just making something up uh, so yeah. who's in charge next in command is vice admiral hope i wouldn't rule it out it's a possibility. We could do a discounted price for subscribers, I suppose, something like that. Alright, so you sell them on it. Alright. We give them books, so I'd book away on the channel, but like that big thick one retails at 950, so. Couldn't just be a. Uh... What? What are you doing here? This one? Uh, doing some checks. Checking the estate card. Yeah, oh. I think it says in the back. Should it, when some of them will get a price? Yeah, it's back. nine fifty. Is that the big thick one? This that's the thick. Cool. That's the thicker, thickest of the three. Yeah, yeah. The yeah. other two are thinner ones. I'm turning yeah, that's exertion. that's a really. I wasn't running away. I need to get to my friend and warn her that for people who uh, don't like reading, it. it's only like a hundred pages. It's very easy. Yeah. And we're dangerously low on fuel. Report Finn for this. Desertion. The principle must be the same. Desertion. They're only tracking us from the lead ship. ship. We gotta speak to Poe. Even if we got on the Star Destroyer to switch it off, who knows where the breakaway is? Way. The guy who used the map. Oh, I'll be the wrong I way. can get us there. I can shut their tracker down. She's moving rather quick now. Time to say it. Why would a door be locked behind some target practice? 
The only way to ensure everyone is training. The First Order is only tracking us from one destroyer. The lead one. So we blow that one up. I like where your head's at, but no. Sneak on board. Disable the track. Our fleet escapes before they realize. How do we sneak the two of you on the Snoke's destroyer? Find the Master Code Breaker. You will find him with a red drawn bloom on his lapel. In the casino, he's not to bite. The fleet's only got 18 hours of fuel. We gotta hurry. I'll be here to jump us to light speed. Kento huh? bike on Kentonica. I don't know who this character Rose Tico. Don't know that character. Yeah, I'm not really sure who the character is. You're not gonna zap me this time, right? I'm not ready to joke about that yet. We stumpy legs. Stumpy, stumpy legs. legs. Oh. <laughs> we stumpy Lego legs. Kato Travel Baker. to Kanto Bite and find them um, something, something, something. Something, something, something. Y'all still awake? Y'all still with us at home there? Are you away for a wee tea break yourself? Saw that talk of tea, put you in the mood for tea? I could not make a cup of tea, but I did have one, but I couldn't make one before I came on. I'm out Can't of herbal and I've no treats, so I'm trying to cut back on the treats. Are you? Lower the cholesterol count. Depends. There's like good cholesterol and bad cholesterol. Trying to lower the bad cholesterol. Just make that clear. So we can park here. Don't get distracted. It's like remember, the Master Code Breaker will be the wearing cholesterol red, blonde, and Sounds low like cholesterol stuff. Would tend to be bad <laughs> cholesterol from memory. All the stuff you like, the good stuff, the tasty stuff. That's all the bad cholesterol. Is. Well, butter has good cholesterol on it. Some, some butters. Butters. Yeah. No, like proper butter. Like cow butter. I don't know. It's fatty. No, it's fat content. Yeah, it's but it's, it's the way plant cholesterol is structured on a, a molecular level. It's like it goes so long and then there's a break in the chain. And it basically... Like what cholesterol does is bind your cells together. I'm pretty sure. So it's like okay. if you break in the chain, it's kind of bad. So all the low cholesterol stuff ends up being not that good for you as well. But like it's down to individual people. Whatever, Einstein. Grapple. What's a grapple for? Is this a wee side game or something? That could be a wee side game. I reckon you could do. It. I don't even want to go to the private party. The red plum blue. Get me you get a wee cube. Cube game. Yeah, it's usually me doing that. Try to talk my way into the code breaker's private. something. Don't know what I got back in a Got to find the master code breaker. Let's not, let's not get too distracted. Are you in a fight here? Yeah, I just did it. Don't worry. Sorted. Started a multitasking. A red plum bloom. The master code breaker. Survivor. I don't know. I'm, I think I've heard of it. It's a a game show, isn't it? Survivor. What game are you playing, Roshin? Let us in in the action. What will let us know what game you're playing? There's Passionist, sir. He had Passionist capes on. Did you see that? Yeah. Capes, that's what I used to call my man. Oh, my cape. And <laughs> um, I can do it. Me and the First Order Codage. DJ wow. Digital Jesus. <laughs> it isn't like um, the way you had actual cubes just... back in the day. Hmm. I've still got my cube. Did you not steal a cube? 
Yeah, can you still? Okay. Oh, well, sorry. There. You took someone else in you your community, Skip. Somebody that was dead, probably. We're gonna have to get them back I think I've got one of Marius. You wouldn't know Marius. Marius Donnelly. I think one of the capes was his. Right. We need to but get I a helmet. Acquired. Uh, access the prison central control room. Says here. Mind. Press. You want me to press this? See no, what The alarm. If we set it off, the guards will have to come and desk. That'll draw them out their room for sure. We're going to need something to weigh this down. Can you see anything? If you come here and pull this lever. Where are you? Here. Around here. Yeah, just put a lever. Alarm, not beat. Yeah, so we have to stay there close. Is that what we're after? Some. Yeah. We do have a Cape Margaret. I used to wear it in London when I was a student because the church we were in was absolutely freezing and the Cape is actually, it was quite a thick Cape I had. And it was, uh, kept, kept you rather warm in the morning, just to sort of wrap it around me. At seminary as well, it was freezing, so. Yeah, in the winter, it was handy. It's in his summer. Dead end up here, where are we going? Looks like our stuff is locked behind that port. Just need to disable that power generator, right? He's shooting at me. The guards? Yeah. Me. Look, that's your guard uniform. I think we can do Where? That. Oh. I thought that was you, but it's not. I thought it was you dressed up. No, no, I've, I'm not dressed up. I'm dressed up. So don't be trying to attack me. Press this now. I think we'll get in. You should be up. Oh, I, you're actually like stuck the animation. So. I opened the door, let's go for it. I'm in. This guy's following me though. This is me, this is me moving this. Okay, I'll leave you to it. You seem to know what you're doing. Something's shooting at me here. I really didn't Retrieve know. Retrieve your doing. equipment. It's called Enchanted 2. It's a point-and-click mystery adventure game. I think I've heard of that, Roshin. I love a, I love a point-and-click. If it wasn't for James making us play Lego Star Wars, we would probably be playing point-and-click games. My favourite. I'll need to check it out. I think I'll, I'll search it. I'll see if it's on Steam. Enchanted to, or just enchanted, I suppose. Oh, we'll get a gun. Good stuff. What are we doing? Escape from the prison? Do you know what you're doing, James? I'm having a clue. Maybe up there. There's Let's a press it. button. Don't, 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 press. don't. Oh, no, too late, sorry. It says to escape. No, let me go. Get out of here. Oh, look at that. There we go, James. I think we're going down here. Told right. you. Stick with me. You'll be alright. What now? Why don't I remember this? I thought I'd seen all these new Star Wars. This one isn't ringing a bell. I haven't. This was the last one, was it? This was the middle one. Right. Of the latest trilogy, yeah. Oh. It's obviously forgettable. So I forgot it. I think this was the one that got people to assume, right? It was a wee bit of like what the writing trope is like Mary Sue is it or something like that where like the character's good at everything no matter what 
Don't know. I'm lost. I think we're back in Ireland. Yeah, we are. If we got any mini kits, it was me. No. All we didn't on get me. Any mini -kits. I'm Chewbacca. Find Master Skywalker. Skywalker. I don't want to talk to you. There he is. Yeah. We need your help. The new Star Wars kind of nerfed Luke. Like, Luke in the old lore of Star Wars was like so OP. Like, could like kill everyone in a town without even thinking. You know, all the bad guys. Do you need to be up here? Uh, I kind of fell down somewhere, but I'm coming back up now. Top. No. Oh, wait, I'm not oh no, I'm sweet guy looks cool. Please stop following me. Oh, fire hurt you. Oh, why you back, Rose? <laughs> Whatever you got to say, right, so. I'm not interested. But Master Skywalker, are you always? It's annoying. I just got to follow him. Uh -oh. Like, follow, subscribe, look Skywalker. Master Skywalker as he's now known. Yeah. I'll just be his bodyguard. Big hairy bodyguard. Hey. Look, you seem like a nice girl, but I'm not interested. Don't mind her. You stick with me, Master Skywalker, you'll be alright. Let me go in front. I can't go in front. <laughs> I mean, you can't let me go in front of him. About the first order. <laughs> I know you can hear me. No, oh, you're the wrong way, no. <laughs> I must have fell off the cliff or something. No, you I've didn't. Lost Just fall our path, right? Yes, I'm in front of you. You stay behind me. What's your name? Ray. Where are you from, Ray? Nowhere. No one's from nowhere. Baku. All right, that is pretty much nowhere. Maybe he's humming. Back to nowhere. It was the character in game, Tracy. It was meant to be like I'm ignoring you, humming. <laughs> I'm too engrossed in this walking. This is my kind of game, just walking. <laughs> Look, if you I like this kind of task. Maybe we'll just do some fishing soon. Go find it and bring it back. So, I guess we're going to find something. Recover Luke's milk bottle. Are you on it? My wee guy isn't moving very quick. After, yeah. I'm going as fast as I can. I got the milk bottle. Oh. Alright, because it's telling me to go back now. Yeah, don't worry, I completed it. I did it all. It's the blue milk. Yeah. Blue milk. Notorious for it. All we need now is the cookies. Dogs. Milk and some cookies. And uh, then we can say our prayers and that's us. Can go to bed. I don't think this means I owe you anything though. Oh. Are these funny looking critters. I don't know. We're like getting factory farmed or something or I don't know. It's a wee bit sci-fi, alright. Yeah, who would have thought Star Wars would be sci-fi? I for one did. 
I'm on this place. The original Jedi texts. Why are you here? Something inside me has always been there. I need someone to show me my place in all this. No. no. They're dragging this out tonight, aren't they? Like the films. I will teach you the ways of Jedi and why they need to end. Some Jedi yeah. mind tricks. Luke and Legends basically wasn't a Jedi, which is kind of interesting. Well, I don't know. Jedi Mind Tricks, that was the name of uh, one of the Beastie Boy albums, was it not? It was it? I think, did they not have an album called Jedi Mind Tricks? I could Google it. I'm not too sure. I only know that one Beastie Boys album. The controller seems to be playing up a wee bit tonight. Sit down. Uh, Reach out. Beastie mm. Boys. Mm. Uh, Distography. Breathe. What do you see? The island. They did not There's have. Beneath the island. Oh, maybe. I see it albums. Or was it a, a tribe called Quest, maybe? Am I getting them mixed up? You went straight to the dark. That cave. I need to see what's inside. Tracy, I did not see the Superman. But I heard about it. They did not have an album called... Jedi Mind Tricks. We'll just Google Jedi Mind Tricks album, see who comes up with it. Uh, maybe it's a tribe called Quest. Maybe it's nobody, maybe I'm just imagining it, but I'm pretty sure there was a group that... Jedi Mind uh, Tricks Hip Hop Group? It's an actual name of a group, there you go, yeah, I thought it, it was an group. album. JMT. <laughs> I thought it was the name of an album, but... Uh, their discography is... The first album is the psychosocial, chemical, biological, and electromagnetic manipulation of the human consciousness. There you go. That's that for a title. Yeah. That actually does sound like it would be a banger. And then, like... Oh, do you know why you probably know them? They'd be well known in the hip-hop scene, I think. They probably did collabs with some folk. Yeah, they're still releasing music. Are they still going? Jeez, because they would be back to at least the 90s, maybe even 96. earlier. 96. 96. Yeah, they're still going. 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 They're still there you go. They've been educated. Their, fir their the first album has such a name that I actually want to go and listen to it. You know, that sort of way. I don't know what I'm doing. It says explore the mysterious cave. Am I missing the mysterious cave? I don't know. It's pointing me to here, but I don't see anything. Maybe I have to go down. I was too busy looking at my phone for... I think I do. I'm just going to drop down here and see. Arms. Seeing Jedi mind tricks. Oh, there we go. How come we are both the same character? Oh no, we're not. Are we? Yeah, we right. are. It's weird. This is some right, stranger so, thing stuff going on. Yeah, here. so that's a mirror. So if you come and stand where I am. Where are you? Over here. Or, oh no, yeah, yeah. we've already. Yeah. I can't really move my that. camera. 
Yeah. It's like your yeah. plan with MERS. It's like a hall of MERS. Of what? Hall of MERS. MERS? What's MERS? <laughs> Mirrors. M mirror. Mirror. Say it properly, James. So did you enjoy today? You probably don't get to enjoy it in the busyness. So. Yeah, I no, I, that, I did text me yeah, that I said like it was a nice service, but I don't really, if you jump, and jump and go forward, yeah, it's a, yeah, it's like one of those things where it's like, um, because you're so busy running about doing things, it's like, getting to enjoy it isn't typically a thing you get to do. Ah, uh, you looked rather busy. I was enjoying watching you being busy. Sitting back. I'm always busy. Or I always try to be. You know, I always... You know, I... There's part of me that honestly wonders if I could enjoy something like that. If I wasn't doing something. You'll bring Luke Skywalker to me. Can you see my surroundings? You're gonna pay for what you did. I can't see yours. You're too late. You lost. I found Skywalker. Did he tell you what happened? The night I destroyed his temple, he had sensed my power. I like Kylo Ren. It's one of my favorite Star Wars characters. Is this the one where we get the big epic battle between those two? I don't know. At the end. Did you create Kylo Ren? Leave this island now! Yes, let's kick his backside. Always wanted oh, yeah. to beat up Luke Skywalker. The classic. Fuck. Gotta teach you mechanics Did that you've learned everywhere else in the game. I'm Chewbacca, I don't know what kind of... Oh. How much damage I'll be able to do with this? Oh, sorry. Actually. You're hitting me? I know. I think this is a scripted part. I'll get a wee punch in. Oh, he's blocking everything I've got. Luke, I need to know! What happened? I got a train. Pass on my strength. Snoke had already turned his heart. And he turned on me. Bando! If I go to him, Ben Solo will turn. Ray, don't do this. Yeah. Tracy, I see your chat. I want to come back to that and comment on it, but we're in an epic part of the storyline here, so. I don't want to get too distracted, as you say. <laughs> I'm easily distracted. There he is. Meeting all of this. Baby Yoda. Oh, the graphics definitely look like it looks like they've put more effort into this one. We must not. For some reason. And just randomly were. I know there's still good in him. Where do we have to go? Randomly we're just flying there. Try. Um, Fly to the supremacy and craft local space. Whatever that means. I, I don't know. Galaxy map. Let's see. Where the hell am I going? I already go to create. That's where we're to go. Create space. Is that where yeah. you want to go? Yeah, it is, I think. Do you want to talk about the James Webb telescope now? Um. Yeah, just uh, I obviously it's been in the news. This James Webb, the new pictures it's producing. What I really want to talk about though is, did you see the story? Uh, 
they said it was, what was it, some sort of star or planet or something, and it turned out it was a piece of salami on a black bit of card. <laughs> did you I see did that not, story? I did not see that, <laughs> but I can imagine that. And the scientist had to come out and apologise because he had put yeah. this picture up, saying it was a picture from the James, uh, the James Webb Space Telescope, and it turned out it was a, a bit of pepperami or salami on a black bit of card. You don't have to do this. Science. Science. Yeah. It's tearing you apart. There was a thing in like the 1800s. You still hurt. Where, um. You still hurt. What you call it? Uh. Sir. Because of the way they measured gravity. Uh, let me get that. For their understanding of gravity. Sure. It wasn't the way we currently understood gravity. It was like Newtonian gravity, which is kind of wrong. Is this what you so always like, expect? We're meeting there supreme needed leader. to I be another planet in the universe, and there was like, like they kept seeing shirtless? this sunspot I, going across the sun, surprise. basically. Enough of this. That they the thought was a planet, but it wasn't. It feels like we've been chasing our resistance forever. Can't we just blow them up or something? <laughs> sorry, for you, uh, sorry, get distracted. <laughs> See, he's sticking up for me. He's protecting yeah, me. me against him. Oh, are you Kylo Ren? Yeah. <laughs> that sucks. I want to be Kylo Ren. Told you he's my favourite. Look at his lightsaber. It's like a red cross. How cool is that? Gangster. Force. I've got the force. You've not got the force, James. Open it. Big old battleship. Bad wiring. Fired by a scout. We don't all have force powers, pal. How about you show some? I don't know whether the Vatican themselves have top of the range satellites. I'd say they've got a telescope somewhere, but like the thing with a lot of the major high power telescopes at the moment is that you, uh, they're kind of collaborative projects. So you. You rent, you basically like book your time slot for it and say like, oh, between this time and this time, can you please look at this part of space for me? Um, well, the, there is an observatory in the Vatican Observatory, but I'm not sure how powerful their telescope is. I think it's a decent enough one, but it's probably ones around the world that are, that are better. So if you come over here, come to where I am. Where are you? I can see you. Find you. Find you. There. So if you force out this blue one, the blue thing. Yeah. What would you want me Behind to do? Behind you! It, where are right you? there! Oh, there you're there. So would you see want that me thing there? in there. So you should be able to target that thing in there. It's kind of a highlight. The one to the right, the one to the right. That. Oh, what? So if you come back, come back. Turn around, point at it. That blue thing in there that is shaped like a cross. <laughs> I'll get a clue what you're talking about. Oh, there, yeah. there. Just some. You can explain to the supreme leader why he destroyed our. Planet. Yeah, the Vatican has its own observatory. <laughs> yeah, but I wouldn't say it has any uh, satellites. Don't know so about satellites, but I think it's got a telescope. Yeah, I would say it has a telescope. I don't know about a satellite. I don't know if they're in there watching Sky TV and stuff in there, James. Yeah. Margaret's recommending Arma Observatory. Yeah, apparently it's really good. It's like a I recently, sorry. Ah, uh, maybe we'll. Young. Maybe we'll get it. Sorry, I'm distracted. Come closer, child. He looks like Mr. Gold from um, the Austin Powers films. And Ben Solo. <laughs> and me. <laughs> 
You have the spirit of a true Jedi. My worthy apprentice, son of darkness, heir apparent to Lord Vader, fulfill your destiny. I know what I have to do. I love gold. <laughs> Oh. Since an epic battle coming up. Yeah. Praetorian guards. Like the Achilles wee red guards, they remind me of Red Hood Gang from DC from Batman. Oh, get out of there! Get out of there! Why is the control in this not working so well? I don't seem to be limited. Yeah. One down, two to go. Get out of there, Ray! Two down. Get out of there. Can't get out quick enough. Ah. Get ready. That's fine. It's fine. About me. It's just button mashing. Just button mashing. Right. Very much, but trying to avoid those red patches as well. Yeah. I've not been very successful at that. I'm doing not too bad otherwise. I've killed three so far, I think. Oh, no way I'm getting out of this one. Alright, I finished my lot. Suppose one I'll have to come over it. and help you. One more hit, I'll do it. There's a lot more. We're getting in my speed. way. Alright, you, you finish it then. In my way. In my way, James. The fleet! It's still time to save the fleet! Postal fleet. Hey. I want you to join me. We can rule together and bring a new order to the galaxy. Don't do this, Ben. Join me. Ben and Jerry's. That's what we'll call ourselves, Ben and Jerry. Ben and Jerry. Like the ice cream. Do this, right? Looking at our coach, we should be off their scopes. Huh. I am going to fill her on the roof. So I am, Tracy. I am sure going on be fine. Friday. At uh, the same time as you use as far as I'm more. I was gonna go with Frank because, but in. unfortunately, like the days that he's we going, like I can't order. go. How are we gonna reach the room with the tracker switch? We're gonna have to sneak into the laundry room and grab um, some disguises. It's just off the main corridor. Come on, there's a trooper in that corridor. We have to take him. Won't that That's create right. a bunch of noise? Maybe. Do you think he can make us a distraction? Well, I guess it's worth a try. Right. <laughs> 
I've almost stole a uniform. This is it! The launch room! We gotta get in fast I don't need a uniform. Out here. Okay, cool. Quick! Central! Uh, huh? 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 Hmm. Uh. <laughs> I'm just catching up. It's went all sci-fi in the chat. Yeah, Mad Damon. This way. My favorite actor. Mad Damon. Uh, <laughs> I don't. I've not seen that. The Martian. Uh, I, I didn't get my tickets from Gar, so I don't know how close sure it is. Is. And then I don't know. Because there's a wee restaurant yeah. facing it, like a wee Indian place, that we me and Mia were thinking of going to, so I don't know whether no, th th we right. are going Hello to there, it. Hello there, Admiral. Can I get the door for you? I can't believe these disguises worked. I beg your pardon? Uh, nothing. Back to work. Yes, ma'am. Oh. Uh, I don't believe it! I'm we're usually in. not picky with things Let's like... Get this show on the road. Family. So I'm not... Computer says no. Computer says We're in the verge of crashing. Are we? And, uh, drop your weapons I'm now. I got a feel. Resistance transports have just launched from the cruiser. Fire at will. What do we mean by computer says no? What's? It looked like it was going to crash there. It was. Was it? But it seems to have. Uh... Those transport ships are unarmed, unshielded. We don't stand a chance. It's doing that Dublin stuff again, what's that all about? Time to board your transport. Happened last week. It's like an echo. Behind and pilot the it's weird. May the force be with you. Always. Mm -hmm. Russell Crowe was my favourite actor. Preferred Sean Bean now. I have no idea what you're talking about, Tracy. Are we having the same conversation here? I don't know. I've accidentally clicked off the live chat, so I don't know. Captain Phasma. Yeah, I've been to Zen before. Zen's alright. I'm going... I'm kind of in the mood for, like, curry. Or, you know. Good curry's hard to beat. Is that what we're talking about here? Yeah, take away food. We can't reach her up there. We may not have to. This place looks Defeat Captain Thesma. Oh, I've got a gun. So maybe I'll be able to shoot him. Where is he? Where is he? Standing underneath hanging tight. Pew pew pew. There he's there. Shoot him. I have the high ground. You'll never reach me from there. Don't trust. I think we've got to drop things on them. Is that the idea? Yeah, yeah, yeah. It's drop the TIE fighter on them. You, you went too early. Gotta wait. Gotta wait. Uh, Gotta wait. Wait. That's it. Perfect. Boom. Boom. This one. No? Nothing's happening. Oh, so there we go. I've not took anything. I'm seeing it out of him, but it's a she, I think, that Captain Phasma is it. So, what's the trick here? I don't know. Your insurrection ends here. Two one eight seven. I don't think. I don't know what we're supposed to be doing. Defeat. Forgot. Still not took any of their... Ah, oh, there we go, a wee bit of... Wee their bit bar has health. finally went down. Yeah. 
I'm not sure if shooting that thing does any good, but we'll try it. I don't know what else to be at. I got it. I did it. It was all me. It was all me. Is um is Matt Damon is he a is he a, I guess he's a Christian maybe then a Catholic even by the sounds of it Roshin. I know what his name's uh would be into his faith apparently a man that played their uh, father Stu there recently. Well known um, actor. Who? Uh, Mark Wahlberg, is that what I'm thinking of? I haven't a clue. Uh, I think he would, he's come back to his faith later on in life. I'm shooting at that shield, but I don't know if it's doing anything. I don't think it is. I don't really know what I should be at here. Same. Maybe shoot that. These things up there might drop on them, oh, might do some maybe. damage. This is this is what I need to need to do. Is there a wee puzzle to be had? Yeah, yeah, yeah. So it's just waiting for it to go so, round. Just don't shoot it yet. Just wait to shoot it. Is it just more of the same drop? Yeah, yeah, yeah. Just just wait until it's over the top. Oh. Don't hit it yet. Don't there shoot. There we go. That is it right there. That's too early! Oh! You make this longer than it needs to be. I'm on it, don't worry about it. Don't, don't. Boom. Bullseye. I've still not seen Father Stu, Margaret. I've, uh, have you seen any of y'all seen it yet? Back to dropping stuff on Captain Phasma's head. No, it's getting it. a wee bit jumpy on the stream here, James. At mind, don't know if you're encountering anything funny business. I was uh, doing something else. So. I told you it's a girl that's in that behind that mask. Yeah, I knew it was. There's a shuttle back that way. You gotta go. Let's grab a shuttle and get out of here. Oh, no, it's a wee bit jumpy here. They're trying to escape. We'll find a way to fly. You d I don't think I'm doing anything here. Yeah, I think you're just a passenger. Just a passenger. Uh, Tracy likes Tom Hardy, Robert Downey Jr., Eddie Redmayne, Roshin Mark Wahlberg. He's on an app I have called Hal Halo and he prays the rosary on I've seen it, lots of F bombs, but a really good movie. Is that F Father Stu? I am not so bad. He's just up finished. He's just finished Sandman on Netflix. Liked it. I was thinking about watching it, giving it a go. Don't know. I might. I want to watch American Horror Stories, which is on Netflix. I think is that on Netflix at the moment. I might give that a go. That's a rebel base. Abandoned. But heavily armed. <laughs> They're coming. Shut the door. I'm melting here, guys. Yeah, the rain can't come soon enough. Incoming! 
so uh, it never arrived. It was, they were threatening it today, but it never quite arrived, did it? Well, it was the come late at night. It was the big town. I loved American Horror Story. Tracy, I watched all ten seasons of that. It was brilliant. One of the best horror anthologies in uh, a long time. But I, I see, I didn't even know they had done a, a kind of spin off called American Horror Stories, plural. Yeah, well, Father Stewart's kind of loosely based on a true story, isn't it? I think he was, uh, was he a, a boxer or something before he converted to the priesthood? It's, it's on the to watch list, Oroshi. Hopefully, get round to it. I'm just assuming that's the right way, but I can't guarantee. No, no it's not. You gotta get this pressing lamp quick, but the dish has got no power and it's facing the wrong way. Could you help us Lots out? Lots of equipment here to play with, James. You like it in I here. The power supply from that one. Let's see what we're supposed to be doing. Yeah. Now we've got it turned on. Do you know how this thing works? Yeah, I'm not gonna clue what I'm doing. Get it all sorted. That's what I was gonna do. Ooh, talk. Talk to this guy. Hey, looks like you got it up and running. Good job. Oh. But the dish itself is a bit broken. You think you could get on the roof and fix it? No, it must be the ladder. Grapple. I'm pulling something. Yeah, jump. Grapple. It. Oh, a secret door. Oh. Someone's got to know what to do with it. Just not me. If I hold it open, you can go in. No. Commander. Is that what we've got to do? Teamwork, James. Kazak. It's all working. We did it. Great teamwork, guys. Let's go. The distress signal is being transmitted. Imagine the wolf's tone's still going. They must be geriatrics by this stage, Tracy. Yeah, they're Geriatric hoping the tones. They're hoping in the light and revives them. And come up here. You're gonna want to see this. You have to stop the first order. We'll have to go now. Everybody thinks ABBA was the first hologram act, but I'm pretty sure the Wave Tones have been doing it for years. Rough landing, huh? It's cool. Just crash the first all the ship into a base full of the only remaining. Oh, there's one of those. So these doofers are like super rare. But I just collected because they allow you to like get the hidden extras. Sorry. So they do. Where it's like you can get more coins and stuff, which would be for unlocking characters and stuff like that, so. Do you know something? I'm just thinking, I'm gonna make such a wee sandwich when I'm done this stream. I want a sandwich. I had a cheese and ham sandwich before I came on and I've got to say it was... Did you hit no? Is that why we're not in the level? Well, uh, oh, maybe I hit no by mistake, sorry. Um, Wolf turn every year's the last. Yep, that sounds about right. We gotta take out that can. No, I'm not gonna get some melted cheese. I'm gonna like get some pastrami in it. You know, some pickle. It's gonna be all good. Alright, alright, calm down there, Gordon Ramsay. Super nice. Oh, 
Oh man. I hope we're closing in on the final kill here because I would assume so. I'm ready for retiring here. Luke. I'm sorry. I know. I'm I just think we still get a wee bit to go here because we're late on. Doing this so we can I'm not sure, Margaret. I didn't really follow the Commonwealth Games very much. I think they did. They all right. I think they won like multiple goals. <laughs> but that's me. like the classic thing because like boxing's one of the only sports that got any sort of investment and in a lot of. Uh, did you come back to you forgive me to save my soul? Oh no. How come you're getting all the good characters? I don't know. I seem to be on a different mission here. What am I doing? I'm following the vault to yeah, I... and find a way out. I'll just follow this wee thing then, see where it helps. Find a way through the caves. I failed you there. I'm sorry. I'm sure you are. Yeah, I'm in charge, right? Nothing to worry about. Yeah, not in the mess. Why? Kill the new drill bit. Replace the battery. Maybe cut us out. Resilience is almost admirable. Incredibly frustrating. Mm, how do I get through here? Fire! How do I find a way through here? Can I change my character? The resistance is dead. The war is yeah. over. And when I hit you, I have defeated the last Jedi. Amazing. Every word. What you just That's said. the war is over. Is a Oh, who do you call? So please one. Two this. War! Fire again! Sorry, James, I need to pick out this puzzle out um. Can you look around? Is there something to blow it up with? There's a wee ladder here. Let's see. Going into hiding can blow you down. No matter. I'll beat you eventually. Here's something here. Let's see what this does. Yeah, that's it. Break up. Break it. How are you doing that? I hit you! I'm like so busy trying to help you that I'm messing up my side. Don't worry about it, I'll figure it out. Bill, no, I'm gonna no, build something here. Rebellion is reborn today. Boxing mining glove drill. drill or mining drill? Matter. Mining drill. Alright, I'm able to help you now. Why did you break it? You just had to move it. That's what I was doing. So you get in the way. Right. Then what? Do we just press these buttons? No? You have to stay on them. Yeah. Oh yeah, and then we get the goink. And the goink goes here. Or the gonk. Gonk. Thunder and rain has arrived in Scotland. Uh, How do you know that? Patricia is saying so. Must have missed us here, Patricia. No, there was a couple of chars to the... What's called? West? Is that James? There was a couple of rain chars to the west of... Ireland today. Oh. 
There it is. Just following this wee. Yeah, the wee goober. A la paca, is it? Did it say it was? I don't know what it was. I'm doing this part of it. No, no, no! It's so close! Nah, you, f you felt the rain in the air, like, earlier in the night, when I was leaving the, what, when I was leaving the church, I felt it be, like, super rainy. Luke is gone. I felt it. I felt it too. How do we build a rebellion from this? We have everything we need. Right here. Who's this kid? You notice the force? Completed? That's on par with our other times, actually. Uh, it seemed a wee bit shorter this week. Yeah, it felt a wee bit shorter. At the beginning, it was a lot of storyline, though, into the first 10 yeah, 15 minutes. It felt just really felt like, like a lot of them um, drawn out. Yeah. Like, it's more storyline than... Felt like I was moving the plot along more than anything else. Ooh, so that's, that's a unlocked. low score, is it? Yeah, that is a low is score. It? That Don't one, think I think that was all about the... Yeah. The packs. That was probably... A, a, probably a lot of that one's maybe in the wee side games that we avoided, is it? Yeah, Probably a lot of the wee side is. projects going on in that one. So just Last one time. more to go. Final... Yeah. One final episode. <laughs> Get as excited, I've got to say I'm ready, right ready for completing it. Do that. Done. Barabast had some photos of the lightning up. So he did. Who's Barabast? Weatherman. Right, it's a good name for a, a weatherman. I think he lives down the street from me. So I do. Barabast. Good for you, why yeah. don't you go and chap his door and ask him what the weather is tomorrow? Come back and tell us, James. Yeah. Uh, probably because it's already just available. Just go... Do uh, you have a fan on in your room? I do, can you hear it? Yeah. I apologised for it at the beginning, but you must, you must have been on your holidays. Yeah. I was going to knock it off, but it's just absolutely melting in here. Ah, oh god, it's melting everywhere. Do you have it over at the window to, like, circulate warmer out, or what are you doing? I don't know, it's just kind of in the corner doing its thing. Is this it room's, like... it's actually warmer in here than it is outside, because this, I don't know for whatever reason, this room is... Is it just in the sunlight a long time? It's, uh, it is, well, it gets blasted by the sun all day, the way it moves, yeah. the way the sun would orbit around the building here. I know it's my room would kind of be like that too. It would be like so um, sort of impacted by uh, the sun 
for most of the second half of the day. So you don't really get any... It ends up warmer. And then it doesn't help that I'm blasting the computer in here. Usually, if I'm playing a game, it's running hot. And it's just like, oh. Oh no. I have a heater That's on in true. my room. I've got all the studio lights as well going on here. So... That's probably not helping as well. Yeah. But if I knock some of the lights off, you wouldn't see my pretty face. Look, lights on, lights off. Dark, lights off, Frank. Lights on. So I'll go here. Oh, Biz, look, I can throw everything from, from the studio here. Working with a professional, James can knock the bars off. Boom, they're off. This doesn't look the same, does it? Got the gaming, yeah. it's a gaming lights on, or if the wolf tones are coming on, we can uh, get it. <laughs> get it. <laughs> <laughs> Got it all. Uh, if we want to do the divine mercy, there we go. Boom, set up for divine mercy. Or the rosary. Wait, Boom. So rosary times. So Divine Mercy is red, white, and blue? Well, red and blue. Don't know where the white is. Just yeah. in the middle? Well, it's got to be a meeting point somewhere, I suppose. Red, white, and blue for Divine Mercy. <laughs> Get the flags out. This is it. <laughs> nice this loyal the, devotion. The, the to this. This, is a, this is for the Derry Boys. If the Derry Boys are playing. Uh, oh. And this is for Charlie and the Boys. <laughs> <laughs> Uh, why yeah, do you actually have that one? Neutral. We old firm one. <laughs> Call this one the old firm. It's neutral, blue, blue and green. This uh, this is what the lights when I'm watching the old firm. This is when I'm doing rebel religion. Remember, it was oh, bringing right, back right. nostalgia. Remember, we used to be and we used to use the wee Star Wars sign. With yeah. the rebel sign with the cross on it. Yeah, it took me absolutely ages to modify that and make that. Yeah. I quite liked that, it was cool. Yeah. But uh people thought it was it was clearly to do with Star Wars. But yeah. uneducated folk thought that we were it was something to reference in something else around here, so we were we were silenced, weren't we, James? We were banned. Yeah, because you, you had two simple you had the first one that you created in isolation that was the radical feminist sy symbol well it just so happened to unfortunately the same time the whole me too was it no no was that, that, that symbol had been about for years aye but nobody ever exactly nobody knew what that symbol was like if you'd done that now I nobody knew. would bat an eye link but um but because it just so happened to be at the time where that was all in the news so people thought that it was some sort of statement to that or something which clearly wasn't yeah I, I you only have to watch the channel for like two minutes to yeah I find, find that out I find it hilarious because like you made it in isolation you didn't know the other one existed it wasn't until I was like you know that's like a radical feminist symbol what is it Nah, but it was I, slightly I that... different because it had no, the I... halo on it and stuff as well. Yeah. Like it had the wee halo and all. It was kind of so it wasn't quite. It was the exact same. exactly the same. But I could see how it could be misinterpreted. But basically, what we're talking about. I don't know if there's any OGs out there. When when we first started the channel a few years back, that must be about nearly three years, about three years ago. Yeah, three. It used to be the channel used to be called Rebel Religion in honor of Star Wait, Wars. No, it actually isn't three or four years ago. Do you know how long ago that is? Can't I be any longer talking. than that. No, no, it I've is. I've only I've not even been here. For, I've only been here what three years? No, because I was three in some years? four years. It would be oh, no. it would be near enough five. It would be four or five. More as long three, as that, jeez. Yeah. Go. So me and James, because we were before, before the live streams COVID, we used to do these wee funny little half an hour shows. Yeah. Forty minutes. They were we used to pre-record them. It was called Rebel Religion. We used to talk about pop culture and faith. Yeah. 
Yeah. And we had uh, it was like Star Wars reference and symbolism, but it was taking out of context locally. Yeah. And people complained. No, it wasn't. And we had to kind it of rebrand. Really. You know, it depended on who you were talking to. Because like, there was some who definitely knew like it wasn't anything to do with that, but it was the potential of it being related to that that they were like, oh. Gotta remove it. You know. I don't know. That was kind of silly. Yeah. Yeah, it was. Keep it rebel. Keep it religion. Religion, yeah. <laughs> uh, Tracy keeps her doors open all day. Roshin, uh, that's right, it's just to be an afternoon in it. America at the moment still the sun is still baking here. It's only four thirty in the afternoon. We were hotter than the States for a lot of this week. So we were. Yeah. Yeah. I don't know why I'm looking over here now because I can look here for the chat. So. There you go. Um. Yeah. Gerald so. Murphy. Used to play with the Wolf Tones loads of times. I heard a comics this week coming in, actually. Uh, did you not see the review? I did the review during I the week. I did a wee see bit a scatty, review. But yeah. I don't have a pill for the week, so there'll be no a review next week. But that'll probably do the Detective Comics finally get round to... To doing that, yeah. Maybe reviewing that. But it's... shaping up to be a busy week, so we'll see. We'll just see. Yeah. How we get on this week. Um, did you listen to the podcast yet? It was good this week, Angel. I have not listened to the podcast yet this week because I just haven't had a chance to. It's still early doors, I suppose. Yeah. Uh, if you've not checked out, if you're still with us, be sure to check out the Digital Jesus podcast. Exclusively on Anchor at the moment, on Spotify. Spotify, yeah. Uh, if, I, if I removed... If I removed... Um, the music section? I could probably go on the other platforms, but I don't know. We'll see. I like having the music in at the moment. Um, it's doing okay. I'm been looking at the stats, the figures. It's that's just been a month coming up. We've been doing the podcast. The initial feedback has been, has been good. I've got a few plans going ahead for wee changes, but I actually like the short format. I think people enjoy, just yeah, uh, getting the, uh, yeah. the 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 shorter format. Getting them. Um, yeah. It's taking a lot of boxes. I'm just thinking tomorrow. I've got. I'll be up there. All afternoon. I bring my laptop. I was really lazy this week in terms of working on the video that I'm doing. James really is a lazy week. student, but James is threatening to to bring some yeah, exclusive yeah. content to y'all on the channel. But what's yeah, this space? It'll probably be YouTube. Uh, no, like I don't know what messed me up this week. I think it might have, because I. Yeah, I just don't know. So I don't. I've got some exciting stuff coming to the channel. Hopefully, in, I'm probably thinking September will launch. Watch this space. Some some big stuff for subscribers out there. I know a few of our subscribers are with us this evening. Yeah. Um, we'll get benefits from that, but some stuff that we'll be making content, finally making free as well. I'll say more about that in the coming weeks. We've been working hard behind the scenes. Uh, some stuff that uh, finally come to fruition. Shortly, I get, hopefully. I don't get told anything, so I don't know. James isn't in the loop. I don't get told anything. Oh, jeez. So. I'm not going to have one of the ones. Oh. Don't be blaming the heat, it's just lazy, it's nothing to do with the heat. It's just a lazy student. Won't be long now to come back. I already was talking to folk talking about getting ready to come back to school, can you believe it? Yeah, I think I go back middle end of September. I'm not too sure. I'm really sent a lot of emails out about it. I think uh the 
the primaries go back the end of August, maybe even as early as the end of August, or certainly no later than the first week in September, I think, if my if I heard right. Maybe somebody can correct me. I don't know why I keep looking at this screen here. I don't know. <laughs> Strange. Strange going on in the midnight hour. Yeah, I know. Yeah. I know, I've got the. Nothing really interesting going on. I want to blame the heat, but I feel like it was just. I don't know. Unless we, unless the heat wave started about four years ago, James been talking about this project since, uh, yeah. since four. we started the channel four or five years ago. Is that right, yeah. James? It's just so I'm, I'm, I'm expecting big things. He's been working on this for like. I haven't bothered to sit down and four do or it. five years. So. There is like. There is another idea that I came up with, but I need to talk to you about it because it's like very Facebook specific, and you know what you're doing now more than what I know what I'm doing. I d I d I'm not getting the perks because you might have noticed on the Facebook I'm actually set up as a, a video gaming creator, <laughs> says Father Frank, video gaming creator. Sure. But I'm not getting the perks. I think it's because because I don't actually... I'll try and explain the geek stuff to you. As you might know, we go, uh, usually when I do the lives, I go out on multiple platforms like on yeah. any given stream, I could be going out on, well, even though it's two platforms, I might be going out in, t in two separate channels, like the Divine Mercy, for instance, uh, they have their own channels, so I could be going out like on four channels at one time. So I need What's... a special, specific piece of software to do that, but it means that I can't really go into like Facebook, for instance, and tweak the finer point. So I really, the, the point I'm making is, I, I'm not being able to, there's a, a level up program on Facebook for the channel, but I'm missing some of those targets because, um, I think because I, I'm not putting hashtags on the gaming nights, like when I'm gaming, I'm yeah. supposed to put hashtag gaming and something and then I get, it says, okay, well he's gamed for more than four hours this week. Um, he can level up now and you get it. They do cooler stuff on the channel, as you know. Yeah. In the recent months, uh, Facebook have been letting me do things like digital stars and subscribers because of the popularity of the channel. Uh, but there's other stuff there available to me. We need like, to grow the numbers. I don't We're know kind how of hard it, to Like, I know what you're meant to do on Facebook lengthwise, but I don't know how to, like, algorithm abuse on Facebook. Like, I don't know, like, I don't like... know. We need to get a professional and see. Facebook is wild with it. When you go in and look at the inner workings, they've got stats and figures yeah. and analytics for everything. YouTube's quite the same, but I don't understand half of it. I just kind of let it run, but I'm sure all that stuff means. I don't know if somebody knew all about that stuff, um, but it's like a, another language in world. No, all I know how to stuff. do it. I know what to do on YouTube algorithm wise but I wouldn't know what to do with uh, Facebook at all like but um, Facebook is where I focus more on the Facebook channel because that's where most of our traffic comes from oh, if yeah. you ever look at the streams um, a big percentage although we're still that was a good month on YouTube I had about seven subscribers uh, last in the past month on my wee stats yeah. so I don't know where they came from on YouTube so the wee channel there, I would love to grow the channel on YouTube, but it's like you say, I think uh, what I need to do is like maybe going forward be planned because there's stuff that like you say, stuff that works better for Facebook, and the stuff that works better for YouTube for like um YouTube like the like something like you're working on like a pre-recorded video or course or something is a kind of thing that lends Any itself better to anything a YouTube thing series. that is longer than five minutes on Facebook is realistically too long. That's not even... Uh, well, not really. I people joke. love the lives. People, and that's where... People seem to enjoy the li the lives. The lives and, is uh, Facebook. The lives so is That's kind of different. different. 
That's a kind of art form in its own, the live, the whole. But I think we've done well. I'd, I'm going to go, well, considering the size uh, and our, our, our amenities, if that's a word, the right word, I f I, I'm quite, I don't mean it in a, a, a bad way, proud. I think the lives that I do are, are of a high quality because they're yeah. not sat down and um, scripted and pre-produced. Wow. Yeah. So I think for when, when we go live on the channel, I think it's a fairly high standard and quality. Especially like the rosary and stuff, we get adoration. We have our wee videos and uh, music and all that kind of stuff. I think, and it's interactive. That's a good thing with the lives. That's the real, the benefit of the lives is you can interact with the community. Yeah. No, it's one Sounds of those things where. Uh... If you're doing any pre-recorded thing on YouTube, or no on Facebook, sorry, it's like because it is a because uh, you're basically scrolling through Facebook, you really need to catch somebody in like the first five seconds harder. Like the way the views counted in Facebook's different as well, but lives are like different because you're promoting constant engagement a video is very easy just to like swipe past on Facebook so it needs to be like snappy it needs to be like five minutes or less it's really hard I think about well it depends I suppose I don't know how many folk actually come directly to the channel on Facebook then they would get it but yeah, yeah. a lot of the way Facebook works is like your post is up like if it's your feed if they call it that like it could be yeah. there one minute, like saying "lost in the shuffle," like away down the. But like you say, but we've not even considered. Like we used to do, I, I've been thinking for the gaming, just for the gaming channel, about going back to Twitch as well. Oh and yeah, well, I've done I've Twitch. I've been thinking ages. about, still have a Twitch account there. I'm connected to it. I just don't know. Yeah. I could. It would just be a case of adding it, but I don't know. I might go back to Twitch. But we've never explored things. I've have an Instagram and Twitter there, um, and obviously I don't know. I'm a bit reluctant, but TikTok is one that folk have said you should try as well. We short well, yeah. Things TikToks to generate TikTok's like, traffic. Another thing, but we we don't really do the content at this moment in time that lends itself to TikTok. Well, that's I, the thing. It's very kind of specific. But if it could draw traffic to the other channels, then I could see the benefit in using those platforms. Yeah. You know, like the Twitter and Instagram and TikTok to, as a, a tool to um, draw people to the, the other channels. TikTok would maybe be good for you, James, because you not do like... Tracy was showing me some guy on TikTok. He does like... It's like we questionnaires and stuff, asks... That would maybe be up your street. You could do like wee historical things or something. I don't know, like we can, shorts but or it's, uh, I don't it's know. again like it's kind of like making something for. I get. Uh, well, depending on how, because you get like how long's the longest TikTok like minute. I don't What's even it? know how long uh, Sorry, how that works. Max I've never. Talk length. There we go. Uh. Oh, up to 10 minutes. Right, you realistically... Because, like, most of them are 30 seconds. Like, TikTok's, like, pure AD history. Uh, when have you ever watched a 10-minute TikTok video? Yeah, like, it's like... It's... Five... Yeah, so it's like... TikTok's, like, super AD HD. Like... Uh, is it I, I have multiple I was friends about to... who are like Mia is one as well where it's like TikTok's just like brain rot at them to a certain degree where it's like they find it hard to focus on things now because it's just like oh yeah just swipe porn next 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 and it's like if you didn't read her brain would be rotted I know if like one of my friends their mind's completely gone it's just like pure TikTok like nah I have to swipe but I'd say five minute lengths, but that would be if we do the idea that I potentially have for Facebook, it could work on TikTok, but I, would, I wouldn't be aware 
of TikTok that great, but it'd be something that you would do for him. Yeah, but uh, as I'm saying, TikTok just as a platform, and like you say, I kind of question and query, worry what for the most but this is just me uh, presuming and judging i suppose why people go to tiktok the kind of content they're looking is is it the right kind of platform for what we do but maybe that's the whole reason to, to do it to well see you know because i suppose you should well, it's like pope francis was saying during the week a wonderful talk about online digital evangelizing and not to be scared to make mistakes and uh see. We got off fairly lightly on the channels here, but I know if we were more popular, you just got to be ready for the 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 venom that is online ministry as well. Like, see, uh, but for the most part, we avoid. I've had a few things on some of the channels, but for the most part, we avoid the nonsense. We're so PG, right? Because most of our contact is PG. But I'm well, not like, really interested in doing kind of um, clickbait and controversial yeah. stuff on the no, channel. I, to be honest, I wouldn't I'm not. want. To, I wouldn't want to do it either. It's easier to keep it normal, but like for like abuse stuff, it's just like tell them to shut up. It's the easiest way to do it. Just go away. Not interested. Ban them. Just make an example. It's kind of fun. Um, but no. TikTok, my issue with TikTok is like your space to grow. So like digital evangelization wouldn't necessarily, because you craft your For You page on TikTok to your tastes. So it's like a very like, this algorithm learns what you like and don't like, and then feeds you content based on that. So like in terms of you were doing religious content, but you most would of them work like that, the, the religious it seems content. to be anyway. Yeah, well, most of it does, but you can't really uh, break out of norms. But maybe it's I shouldn't to... presume or judge, because, uh, yeah. like I say, there's Tracy come across that that fella, so maybe there is a kind of market if we want yeah, to there for it is. there as well. Folk that are doing a bit more healthier. This is something that I would really, I think, going forward... Uh, I know we have a bit of fun and we do the praying, but one of the whole points of doing the digital evangelizing and online stuff is to really explore, because it's a, for me it's a new territory, new area, like the whole, f um, in the church, church has a few st things on this area, but uh, it's uh, like it, basically morality and ethics online, social media, uh, AI and all that kind of stuff, it's an area that fascinates me, um, like, technology and ethics and morality and stuff it's a very still relatively unexplored unwritten about um kind of well because we're just kind of we're still in the embryonic stages like we're just starting to gen z because that kids that are that this is their world and stuff and how yeah how we interact and behave and uh, all that as a uh, toxic was the word you know because online it can be toxic but um and that's uh, funny believe it or not like actually padre plays its initial spur was we don't really overly do it but one of the ideas was to do games that would challenge like morally making decisions i know it's a bit of fun and you can it's just a game and you can reset but a lot of games put you in a position where you have to make decisions and and that was i think it would be exciting and fun to explore um you, topics no, there going is forward a, there is a game if you want me to buy it that's like moral ethics so do you ever get like the trolley question the what where question the trolley question where it's like you're able to um kill one person to save five or kill five to save one that sort of right. thing and you're in control of the lever and it's like oh are you going to kill that one person to save the five or let the trolley stay in its course to kill the five 
right. instead of ah, uh, there's one. a name for that. There's philo- they're, they're philosophies. Yeah, so like philosophies. yeah, so like but ethical- I forget the name. And we studied all that in philosophy. It's interesting but, stuff. But yeah, there's but there's a game like based off of those, of those like ethical puzzles, and it will like right. complicate going down the line and stuff. We could do that. I know oh, that exists. sounds pretty cool. I eh? know. I've got one that you would like. It's called Death and Taxis, <laughs> Death and Taxis. <laughs> which is kind of. Have you heard of that? Uh, and it's no, basically I, like you're you're a you're a the, the Grim Reaper, but you you look at people's tax files and and how they've lived and stuff like that, and you get to choose whether uh, they live and die, kind of basically thing based on their kind of taxes. profile. <laughs> I picked it up and uh, uh, on Steam on sale. It looks pretty. Yeah, pretty, pretty cool. Good. It would kind of be interesting from that kind of point of view of um, like asking moral questions. Yeah, because basically you have to judge, judge folk and condemn them, or let them go. Yeah. So we need to do more games like that. That that was, believe it or not, the original Premise. inspiration, if you will, behind Padre Plays to, but then. Fall Guys came along and it just kind of descended Fall into <laughs> madness. Did I tell you that Fall Guys finally get WWE avatars? Yeah, I saw that. But they were too, looking for money for them, loot boxes. So I, I didn't invest. I thought I'm not, I'm not going to get into that game of. Uh, yeah. Flame and loot box territory because I thought once you start. Tracy, see, that's the thing. See, because one of the, the limitations of this software that I use, I was talking about being able to go out on four or five different platforms. So it, it looks very different to me from what you see. So this is one of the things why I struggle when sometimes when I'm talking to you because and you are having problems because I don't actually see what what you all see in youtube or facebook or whatever it looks very different to me so i'm very rarely on these platforms directly because i'm using uh, uh an external software the reason i say that one of the things is like so that's but one of the things that allows me to do is it, it pulls in all the chat so one of the plus sides is doesn't matter who comments whether it be on the digital jesus facebook or youtube channel or even if i'm running two different channels the divine mercy i see all those comments come in as one as one thing so that's a plus side so i, I can uh, see that and where it's coming from um but the, the downside is for the likes especially like so our facebook like i don't see whether like i know some of you all send stars sometimes with some of your comments some of your You've got all these badges like subscriber badges or a year's anniversary, somebody that's been following the channel. Unfortunately, I don't see that kind of information. That uh, it's not it's not smart enough to let me know that stuff. This software, I've contacted them. I put it, told them, you know, if we could kind of get these things going forward, it would be great for streamers using their software. So maybe in time these things evolve, but because uh, I would like to acknowledge. You know, when sometimes after the stream, I go back and rewatch or look at what it looked like on the platform, and then I see like, uh, you know, you guys that are always with us, Tracy, Margaret, Breda, and you've got all these badges, or it's a two-year anniversary or something, and it'd be nice to acknowledge that a bit more. Uh, that that those kind of wee personal touches, but that's its limitations to to what we're doing here. But I'd like to get more people involved in the streams. I know we're quite interactive, but people are very shy, and plus I think it's just the, the tech yeah, side. People I are think, yeah. people are scared of of the the of the new technologies. They don't know uh, how to how to do it. I suppose. Yeah. But there could be one wee change which could be interesting. Somebody made a suggestion to me during the week, last week, about poss- possibly for the rosary night. And I think maybe we could try it once a month, see how it goes, how it goes down, which would be mixing things and getting people involved a wee bit more. So watch this space. Uh, we'll see. Um, 
I don't know, Margaret, you tell me, you know, a simple way of, like, t- take, for instance, what me and James do on a Sunday night. Like, there's no reason why somebody with a half-decent mic and a webcam, and what? even if people weren't cu- weren't interested, like, if, or not, I say not interested, but people were shy to appear on the channel, you could just bring them in their voice, like, to people to lead the rosary. Or, or to join me back and forth, you know, rather than just my voice, like, have people, I'd love to have a wee team, like a rota, you know, just the way in the parish you have a, a rota for readers, or um, stuff like that, Eucharistic ministers, you, you know, if we had enough people that were, um, I suppose, trained or uh, competent enough, could it, it would take a lot of, a bit of what I mean, I could invest in other think, projects, uh, you know, if you had a, a street, if you had a rota there month to month, and and you could people that you could rely on, um, that's something that we could maybe do going forward. Like James has a little access to the stream, but if people were, it costs money again. It's always money involved in these things, but you can have like people. I could give them access to the studio, so uh, they could just come in and set those things up themselves. Uh, and go ahead and go on with it, you know, if could, uh, or weeks I'm away, you know, just stuff like that, to keep, uh, just to mix it up as well, it'd be nice to see some different faces and hear some different voices. The rosary is obviously the, the, the obvious one, because that's the only consistent thing, well, Padre plays is fairly consistent on a Sunday night, yeah. for the most part, but uh, we usually meet in a, I mean, I think, I could probably count my hands the amount of times we've missed the Wednesday night over the last few years. When you think about it, it's quite something, uh, that how consistent um, but we are on the channel with regards to those things. And I think that's why we have a good wee community, because it's kind of reliable in that sense. Uh, the, the Divine Mercy is the same. We generally always do something on a Friday um, as well. So... That wee channel's grown quite healthily as well, because uh, it's not even been up a year as well, and that's continuing to grow as well. Yeah. Uh, popular. There's loads of stuff I'd like to be doing, but as always, you know, when you're in a busy parish, uh, and then the schools will be coming back soon, that you're just your time. It's very hard to. <laughs> Tracy sounds like you're getting tortured. Do you have to? Do you hear all that? I guess you must hear all that from where you are. <laughs> uh. But even the podcasts uh, as well. I've got some plans for that because the good thing with the podcast, for the most part, I can pre-record those. Um. So the likes of the the top five saints there's no reason for instance I've got ideas I don't want to give too much away but you know I have different voices people on the show uh, we could rec- like you're saying how do we get involved Margaret well there's no reason why you, you know you, sometimes you come up here we take half an hour you do the saint of the week for a month uh, we could record four saints the good thing with the church calendar is you, you can pre, pre-plan for that stuff we can I, I could know the saints in advance you could read I could record you reading our wee bit about the saints for the podcast uh, and you could do that for a month. That that would be one real practical way to get involved and contribute to to the podcast, for instance. How does that sound, Margaret? Would you like to hear yourself doing the Saint of the Week? Um, I'd love to get people more involved that way. Eh... <laughs> uh, so yeah, we things like that. I, I think I'm going to get the schools involved when we go back. That's one of my ways to engage more with the schools, get the kids involved. I was thinking maybe s- certain months we might get uh, one of the schools to do like Saints for the week, stuff like that would be nice. Uh, get some good readers at the school, some of the older kids maybe they could do the... Because I've got the wee scripts for the Saints uh, for the week, Margaret, so... It would just be a case of taking it up to them and, and letting them. So there we be things are going on in my head, ways of getting people involved and mixing it up a bit, because people must be sick of hearing my voice and seeing my face by this stage. James, what do you think? Yeah, hear it. 
Spine. Margaret, that sounds like you're saying that good stuff. So I'll keep it on the. I'll keep it in mind. Maybe we'll make that happen. Um, soon. Be nice. Yeah. I'd still have a desire as well, although I don't know how this would happen. But I, I know there's a small handful of people that would actually like to um, meet as well for some sort of even if it was just social or prayer that are associated with the channel. It's been lovely. i, I got to put some more faces uh, to names because, as you know, the last couple of years, a lot of names come through the channel and you don't know faces. It's, and it's always lovely when people approach approach me and and say, I'm such and such, I watch on the channel, and then you get to put a face yeah. to a name as well. Um and there would always be the opportunity, possibility from the centre here or something that we could do a live from the, the centre and say the rosary together, stuff like that, you know, maybe even if it was once a month, uh, set a couple of cameras up and do a live or something, you know. Uh, but scripture as well, a lot of folk, and as some of you know, especially as subscribers, I'm working closely with you, the subscribers, making sure that you're getting fed scripturally as well a bit better attended to because i know a lot of you uh, there's a lot of requests to get to get more yeah. get get more scriptural content i have a huge project in mind for that kind of thing but i don't know if it'll see light of day this this year it's it's very ambitious uh let's just say and again it's um but there's some stuff out there I would like to start to make available to, to you all. I think we're kind of getting to this place where we've got kind of numbers that would justify uh, doing something a wee bit, taking the levelling up with some of the stuff on the channel. <sighs> but yeah, no, I agree, Margaret. It would be nice to offer people uh, some sort of... A lot of requests... Um, Med a meditation. It's one group that we don't really have, uh, and since I've been here, I've never known of a meditation group up here in Holy Cross. Um, I used to do a lot of that, especially as a student um, in Highgate in London as well. They they used to meet twice a week, a little meditation group. Uh, got to say, I'll be honest, changed my life. Um, getting involved with um meditation. It's something that I don't really practice is readily but there's something about group meditation as well um which is powerful and i'd love to i think people would really benefit especially in this area if you suffer from anxiety and uh restlessness and scatty brain and all that meditation is not just a great spiritual healer but it's great for the body and the mind uh could transform your life um, just breathing and meditating and praying. Obviously, it would be Christian meditation, which is quite different from some of the stuff out there. But it's um, yeah, there's some good stuff out there. I I still have a lot of the tools that we used to use. Talks, the we format our we group used to use is we used to just sit around in it. We were a small group. We used to sit around in a circle. I would have a candle. It was lovely during the winter, the late nights, because it was dark, so you could black out the room, just a few lights. And then we would go into some meditation, and we'd usually listen to a talk by, um, who were the big ones we used to, some well-known, Merton and uh, Roar, and who's the other one, well-known one, meditation. They would give a talk. Usually it'd be a series, so you'd have like a programme for maybe even six, eight weeks, and it would be a theme. And it would be a talk for maybe 10, 5, 10 minutes on a particular theme. And then you would have a little bit, a bit depended on the group, the, uh, you'd meditate for about 10 minutes, 15, depends on how the group. And uh, that was it. Then you'd come out of it and that was it. Go into some deep meditation. Yeah. Nice. Anyway. Anyway, I'm rambling here, James. What you're saying? Yeah. What you thinking? Yeah. <laughs> no, like scripture stuffs always gets like asked for, and we've just been. Uh, I don't know. It's very hard to do. 
Well, it's not, right? The difficulty is, with scripture stuff, is like, you need a level of engagement with it. And it's like, you don't always get people to engage, is like, the thing. It's like, it would be as difficult as being like, right, read X chapter of X book right this week and even if it's like one chapter out of the bible you know realistically some at most will take you 20 minutes right but it's like people will still think oh I don't have the time for it and then come the week it's like you're just doing it to people who don't really know and it's like that's the real difficulty is because it's like very much you're expected to go in with a level of thing. Well, well, that's it. I mean, the thing is, like you're saying, the scripture, it's a very, sp- like, well, like any kind of religious thing, it, when, if you're going to do something that's, whether it's meditation or scripture, it's a very specialised subject, usually. So, you're go- you, it's not, you're going to expect small numbers, and that's not a bad thing. Like, if you got six people um, signing up for a, a specialised scriptural course I mean even if they, if that was like a, a college or a uni course you'd be six would you would be quite happy with that I mean a cl- six is a good class of people wanting to go deeper into scripture that's enough to work with the problem like, we, we did I've tried I've, as you know I've did live courses uh, videos before told people to watch them then come back and did lives and stuff like that yeah. The problem is, like you say, it's just very hard to get people's commitment and attention for stuff like that. That's why sometimes, you know, you, you haven't over why, uh, like, for charging for courses because if somebody pays, then they're committed, they're more likely to engage with the program. But that aside, the thing is with the scripture stuff as well, where my head's at with it, because I've thought about doing some more of these pre-prepared courses that I've done in the past but the truth be told is there's good stuff out there you don't need to reinvent the wheel if people are serious about studying the scripture I could rattle off uh, two or three websites where there is good free content on scriptural courses that would just blow your mind and really take you deeper if you really wanted to commit and give the time and there's some small not very expensive courses that I would recommend there as well for people that are are really serious about going that bit deeper um, but that's why I'm saying some of these bigger projects I'm working on would be basically they would be tailored like if people wanted to sign up for a specific course say it would be scripture with a specific um, theme and then but th- these this, this, these kind of programs would let me see who's actually engaging with them have they actually watched the video for the week then they would be able to ask questions interact uh, in, in little groups or personally to reach out to a tutor or whoever's leading the course to ask questions to ask questions with others in the group and stuff like that so it's quite smart and it's tailored and and it's uh, and it's very easily my, my big thing is always accessibility you don't want it doesn't require people to sign up and log in and all that kind of stuff and it could go direct to your phone your email uh, all those kind of things so it's about making it uh, engaging and uh, easily accessible when I'm thinking of these things to do them as well you know um, so yeah Roshin Ascension I, I've used a lot of Ascension stuff myself in the past they do great um, they do some good good courses but obviously the big change now is online like um, there's there's loads of good content um, like leader books and books for these courses but that means bringing people together physically or a lot of these things but now everything the game's changing but even like I don't know what kind of return like you could meet as a class online and watch things together and study together hence a bit like what m- myself and yourself do at times james yeah you know um again like i don't know i think i can have up to 10 people in the studio here if there was even if it was a specialized thing you could do it in the studio 
Yeah. Um, it's a simple link, as you know, James. You just click on it, and it, it comes in. And That's it. I've I've been experimenting. That as a a a com a, I say a company. The uh, the the Bible Project. Um, I've got this. They're 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 trialing this new thing. It's called Classroom. And basically, that's the idea. You, it's, it's it's a brilliant, it's brilliant the way they've got it laid out, and you do it. But basically, you watch these videos, but you watch them as part of a classroom. So you're kind of studying with other people that are there at the time, uh, and it's kind of to help create that kind of classroom studying together kind of vibe, and you uh, can ask questions and stuff like that. So it's pretty neat. So I, I like that kind of idea of of education, but um, interaction as well with others and not uh, being with, studying with others because I think that's how you learn better from other people's questions and stuff as well so if you can pull that kind of stuff off and do it it, it can work uh, Zoom of course is a very popular way people have been meeting um, online as well to do I've, I've been involved I didn't actually do as much Zoom as you might think, I wasn't really uh, during the whole pandemic. I know everybody suddenly had to learn how to zoom, and we're having zoom meetings. That strange enough, uh, zoom wasn't something I was engaging. But I did go to a couple of conferences, seminars on zoom, and yeah, they they, they can be quite good, quite good uh, if they're done, run properly, uh, and the content's good. Yeah. And the the presenters are good. That's all. Can be well done. All right. Do you want to call it there? I think so. Unless there's anything else, James. Anything else exciting to be talked about that you want? Pop culture or no, no politics tonight? I'm trying to think. Was there anything that I wanted to talk about? But I don't really recall. Yeah. I don't really know. Cool. Just gotta leave it at that. Nothing we can really say. All right, Joe. Well, listen. Thanks for stopping with us. It looks like a few folk have, have been with us this evening. I hope you enjoyed the game and hope you enjoyed the chat. Uh. And all that good stuff. As mentioned, you know, I'm sure most of you here, if you're here, you probably liked, follow, subscribed, all that good stuff already. So you should be kept up to date with anything happening on the channels. Uh, it's the first place to be. If you want to know of anything going on, that's where you'll find it all. Um, but yeah, so otherwise, uh, good night and God bless you. Until next time, James. Yeah, peace, love, and God bless. Good night.